everybody. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much-anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. The Brown Bomber's unpredictability belies his ring walk focus. He is ready for action. Parker's making his way to the ring with such confidence. That is the look of a fighter who knows exactly what tonight's outcome will be. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. All right, let's go. Just the opening round of 12 scheduled for tonight's bout. Teddy, can the shorter fighter in a matchup like this be effective with a power punch, or does he have to reach up too much? So not only can a shorter fighter in this kind of situation be effective, he will be effective if he comes out of a weave with a punch, because now, usually the taller guy, he's punching down. And when you punch down, you leave an opening. And he engages in the clinch. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. And he decides to tie up again. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Parker. Able to dismiss that body shot. Get your hands up, get your hands up. The Brown Bombers blocking ability is doing well for him there. Halfway through this round here. That was not well targeted by Parker. Brown Bombers defense is paying off now. Let it go, let it go. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Gets rid of that body shot. A well placed uppercut by Junior. Come on. Final ten seconds of round number one. Come on, oh, he just misses with that headshot. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Junior's really impressing us here tonight. That last round, boy, he was on top of his game and all over his opponent. Laid out some serious damage there. Yeah, I noticed that he's starting to land that uppercut a little bit. The only thing that 
I wouldn't be satisfied with what he did the last round. I would just look for for confidence to do more as sort of a good roadmap to maybe even get a knockout victory here. Put something on top of those uppercuts. You know the uppercuts landing. Now put something up top. Here we go. Round two is underway. just grabbing on to his opponent. Good block there by Junior. Just an excessive amount of holding here. Just much too much clinching. This is excessive holding we're seeing here now. Hey, get out of there. You got to see that coming, champ. Let's go. You got to see that. Work the body. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. What a power punch by Junior. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Scores up top with a left. He missed with that headshot. Get in there, get in there, Tim. And right from the start, He's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date and he wants to get to it. Nice work, the left hand to the head. The Brown Bombers showing that walking stick right now, utilizing the jab. Able to time that left hand and score with it. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. To the belt line he goes with a left hand. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't, he's chomping at the bid. He's confident. Number three is underway. He scores with the jab there. The Brown Bombers defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Jump on it, jump on it right now. A headshot blocked. The Brown Bombers jacked up by an uppercut. Oh, what a whiff by Parker. Let's see some 
more hand movement, champ. Come on. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Junior's cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. Protecting his head well with his guard. Halfway through this round. Nice strike after catching one by the Brown Bomber. And he ties up on the inside. That is a sharp uppercut by the Brown Bomber. How about that left hand? The last thing either guy wants to be here, Teddy, is one-dimensional. The last thing you want to be in anything okay. to be That's successful right. is one-dimensional. I mean, if you're a comedian, you don't want to be saying the same jokes all the time. Your crowd's not going to be there. Well, your opponent is going to be there all night long if you do the same thing. Keep working, bud. Good job protecting himself. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Finish with the big hook, baby. Finish Ten with seconds the hook. to go in this round. How about a return to sender with the left hand? And round three comes to an end. Uh, let's finish. Let's keep going. Keep going. You are doing great. Let's keep working hard out here. Don't say nothing. Let it all go. Look at you. You're not winning. And you're not losing, kid. But you're not winning. And we have to throw more than this guy. We can pull it ahead. We gotta fight. We gotta keep going. You got it? You gotta do it. Come on. Round number four is underway. Parker's got to feel pretty good about where things stand right now because he's still very much in this fight. It's anybody's fight, an even fight on your scorecard. Yeah, I think actually it's going to become a fight of attrition. Whoever's in better shape because this is every round being contested. The Brown Bombers able to land a nice clean left hand. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Nice, nice. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. That's what I like to see. That's my man. Keep fighting, baby. The Brown Bombers ruined with that punch right there. Boy, I know he's not in great shape, but all of a sudden he's doing a very good job of defending himself. You know, it's a funny thing. He's fighting on instincts, and sometimes that's a good thing. You don't want to get hurt to get there, but you want to get there. Right now he's doing things without thinking, naturally. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Parries that punch intended for the head. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Side, 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 he needs side. to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Parker. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. 
is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Get out of there. Get out of there. Ground bombers doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Parker. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punches. Well, the old timers used to say when you're calm in there, when you're controlling there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. This round is in the books, what you're doing. and it looks like Keep the gas tank on this fighter may be right heading here, towards right? empty here. What is this, a case of guys just not putting in the road work and the conditioning prior to a fight? No, you got to figure he came in. His weight was good. Scales don't lie. We looked at the weight. He came in pretty good condition. I think what it is is now he's starting to get broken down a little bit, physically and mentally. The other guy is starting to impose himself on him. You don't need that. I'm going to throw that away. Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the medal of a person enough. is when you Move. test him, when Move. you push him up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's showing what he's made of. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Unload right now. More punches, baby. Punches and bunches. Let's see. Let the fist go. Let him go. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Yeah, baby, good work, good work. Hard charging with that right hand. Shake it off. What a big shot. What a shot. What a clean left hand that was that knocked him down. One, two, three, four, five, six. That has a sense of a flash knockdown there. You can see he's not too damaged. His opponent better be careful. He's still got a live guy opposite him. Oh, yeah, he definitely does. And believe me, the best indicated that he didn't really hurt him. His opponent's Good not job. coming Good after job. him. He knows that he's okay. He knows that that wasn't one of those big shots that really debilitates a guy. Junior's having a masterful round defensively. I love what we're seeing from the footwork with him. Very good movement, sound defensively. On, punch, Is there anything punch, he should punch, be considering it. adding to that arsenal, though, right now? Well, he's got to find spots for offense. You know, he's making his opponent miss. He's getting him off bounds. He's frustrating him a little bit. You know, pop at the right time. You know, let it fly a little bit in the right spots. You keep your guy off balance. When you got him off balance, you make him miss, make him pay. It's wide open. Uppercut, baby. Come on. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. And that's the end of round five. Junior's got to be in control of things after that round. This is a good fight, very good fight. I give his opponent credit. 
But I do believe he's ahead on the scorecard. Yeah, but you want to keep that carrot out in front of him. Keep him running after something, you know? The worst thing is all of a sudden he thinks he's got the carrot, and he's sitting there, he's chomping away at it, and guess what? The tortoise goes right past him. Or in this case, his opponent gets his hand rigid. You even punch for your kind of power. Let's make sure we make him feel it. I want to see hooks to the body, then hooks to the head, all right? Hook to the body, then to the head. So here we are, all wondering, can he survive the start of this round after the way we saw him go down in that last round? Well, it's up to his opponent, Liv. Now, his opponent gets a little careless and he rushes in a little bit too close. He could get a chance to grab those hands and tie them up. And then he could kill a little of the clock, survive. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Come on, kid, focus now. I need you to focus for me. coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. <laughs> hook! Hook! He wide open for the hook! Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Those round bombers, just a completely different fighter now. I mean, he was stunned earlier in this fight. And since then, there's just more of a defensive disposition to it. Yeah, and the important thing right now is that sooner or later, and I think it's going to be sooner, his opponent's going to see the same thing. And he's not going to stay away. He's going to get... Solid left hand by Junior. Shake it off, champ. Come on now. Let's go <laughs> shake that off. The Brown Bombers bang by an uppercut. Shots. He comes back with a right hand. Unable to make an impact there by Parker. Focus. Focus. That's it. That's it. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. Let's go. Hit him. Let's keep working behind the jab. Okay? Work that jab, then right hook to the body, then left hook to the body. All right, breathe. Deep breath. Deep breath. Get some more. You good? You all right? Now breathe for me. Now listen. Threw a wide punch, and he caught you. So tighten up your punches, all right? Tighten them up. You don't need that. I'm going to throw that away. Way for what is the second half of this fight. Who knows what we're in store for? Don't let him get to you, kid. You can see he's juniors rocked by that punch. The Brown Bombers got things going on his side now. Remember, this fight was going against him. Now, a good rally. There it is! Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. One, two, three, four, five! 
So he goes down for the first time, but you can just get a sense that he's going to be okay. He doesn't look like he's that damaged. No, exactly, Joe. That was just a brush fire. But he doesn't want it to become a forest fire. So he's got to think in his head, why did I get caught? Come on, keep working the body. Keep working the body. Good looking counter punch. Parker's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Let's see it. Let the fist go. Let him go. Halfway through the seventh round. And he's holding. Keep moving. Keep moving. Come on now. The Brown Bombers' knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Nice block by Junior. Parker's making this so that it's becoming a very frustrating night for his opponent. I mean, when your defense is that sharp, it can just drive your opponent crazy. Yeah, it can. First of all, it can start to break down. You know, we always look at the physical things in life and anything. You know, you, you're pounding a guy and you're going to break the guy down. Hey, if you're just smart and you're slick like this guy and you're making a guy miss, you start to break him down. He's breaking the guy down that way. Ten seconds. And round seven comes to an end. What are you waiting for? You want this fight? Then let's move out there. This guy's. Calm down now. Just calm down. Just breathe. Breathe. I need another round from you. I need you to be busy this round, all right? He caught you with your hands down. Let's box smart and not get caught. Box smart. Teddy's scorecard at the beginning of round number eight. Parker's the lead, but... He's taken some damage, Teddy. Yeah, it's been a good day for him, but there's been some clouds, and there's raining a little bit. He just had to worry that it doesn't start raining harder. Junior's coming out to fight this round after being knocked out in the previous round. Teddy, any idea? Do you think he's recouped enough here? Well, we're going to find out very quickly by looking at his legs. You're going to look downstairs just like you look downstairs in the basement of a house to see whether or not those bricks are in place or whether or not some of the mortar has kind of disappeared and the jab. bricks are a little loose. You want to see if Use those legs are stable if they're firm. Come on, kid. Focus now. I need you to focus for me. Parker's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Now he ties up there.
Raiders showing us a great display of one of the best elements of defense, Teddy, and that is your ability to make your man miss by moving your head. And now what his opponent has to do is he has to understand, hopefully he's been taught this, that yeah, the head moves, but the body doesn't. The body is stationary right in front of you. Right now his opponent should not be going to that head. He should be going downstairs. Punches and bunches. Let's see it. Let the fist go. Let him go. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. Come on, let's go. Parker's proving to be elusive. And that's the end of round eight. Nice work. Nice Parker's work. in a position now where he should be able to bring home a win. If things stay the way they are, he's clearly headed towards a win. Yeah, I have my head on my scorecard, but he has to make sure he doesn't like in football go into that prevent defense. If he starts just moving, just staying away a little bit, now the things that were keeping his opponent from coming in that front door, well, guess what? They're not there no more. His opponent could get back into this fight. They are back to action here, but that action has only favored one man. Completely one-sided. Hard to see the scorecards coming into play here with how dominating he's been. see an issue there didn't land that straight right hand the brown bombers putting forth a game plan of being a volume puncher but teddy he's not landing a lot of these punches and what kind of effect can that have on this fight well he can get frustrated a little bit and hey he might not win the fight <laughs> he can have that kind of effect is nice that effective nice enough nice <laughs> Halfway through the ninth round. Left and right, left and right. Come on, baby. He just missed that shot up top. that punch away. <laughs> nice block. Uppercut. He tried Uppercut to nab him up Uppercut. top Uppercut, but was man, unable to connect. Good job staying Do away from the danger the there. Solid straight right hand. <laughs> Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. <laughs> See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. The end to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight 
where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like, going the decision, as you just touched on, has Relax. not been in their minds at all. Too much. It's gonna come now. You gotta relax and put those punches together. Trying too hard to knock this guy out with one big punch. I need to see some combinations, all right? And now they start round number 10. Really frustrating his opponent now. Parker's so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's gonna leave an opening. Come on, kid, focus now. I need you to focus for me. Body shot, body shot. shot but he gives one of his own a left hand scores <laughs> Junior's dazed after that punch he's a weeble wobble in the ring right now just wobbling away now hugging on the inside blocks the headshot Wide open for the hook. Hands working, buddy. Put hands on. You're not focusing. You're not focusing. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Face yourself. Pace yourself, you're doing good. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. to the end of round number 10. 10 seconds to go. All right, breathe. Deep breath. Get some water. You good? You all right? Breathe for me. Good. Now listen, you threw a wide punch out there and he caught you. Tighten up your... everything in there now you gotta land some of that power championship rounds have arrived these are these moments these little moments that determine everything they've gotten this far juniors in good control he's got a slight lead on your scorecard but at this point anything can happen yeah well the one thing that shouldn't happen is that he changes anything he doesn't go into that prevent defense you see in the nfl just keep doing don't get careless but keep doing what you're doing. Stay alert. Stay defensively minded and responsible. But keep pumping that jab. That was a fine block by Parker. Focus. Focus. He got hit right there. But he also gave one. Solid effort by Junior. 
Defensively by Parker. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. <laughs> Junior's got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. Halfway through this 11th round. Keep moving, keep moving. Come on now. Unable to connect by Junior. Relax. Come on now. Relax. Deep breathe. Left and right. Left and right. Come on, baby. Locks that punch. Come on, punch. Hey, 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 hey. Let's go out there now. Come on now. Let me see. seconds of this 11th round. <laughs> this round comes to an end. And Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent is pretty slick in there. Pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target, but his punch is a little wide. Needs to shorten him up. You're in control. Next round, let's keep busy, all right? They meet up for the 12th and final time. The last round has arrived. Nice block by Parker. Work the bottom. Right to the head with that right. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds okay, on okay. there. Let it go. Let it go. Jab. Pop the jab. Teddy, when you've been in the corner in your career and you have a charge who is not making a lot of contact, what do you tell him? The first thing I tell him, Joe, is shorten up your punches a little bit. The other thing I tell him is he's making you miss, so you know what? Faint him a little bit. Get a false move out of him. Get a premature move. And when he moves, then time him. Now you're going to catch him. And a smart counter punch by Parker. Get in there. He Get clinches in there, when he gets to the inside. Hook, hook, he wide open for the hook. Halfway through this 12th and final round. Get out of the way from those punches. Move your head. Move your head. A minute to go in the fight. Pace yourself. Pace yourself. You're doing good. Keep working the body. Come on, hit him. You're still 
still not moving enough. Come on now, move, move. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Focus, focus. The Brown Bombers showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Junior's defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. 10 seconds to go in this, the final round. Punches and punches, let's see. Let the fist go. Nice block by Parker. Well, you should have your judge's license taken away if you don't see this one the obvious way, Teddy. But what do these judges dare go another direction with this? I want their picture up on a post office board. Most wanted poster. Yes, sir. Now, right now, what we want is to hear those obvious scorecards, so let's send it up to the ring. Parker's work tonight was well rewarded. A unanimous decision win. Teddy, you saw it all along. It was easy, and he saw it all along. That's the thing. He saw the punches coming all night long. He was good defensively, and he was good with that left hand. Thanks for being with us, everybody. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.